Hey guys, today we are going to check out a new tool that will change the way we visualize our projects in SketchUp. There's a huge surprise at the end. Hey guys, welcome to Show It Better, the best place to learn architectural representation. And today I'm really excited because last week I got my hands on a tool that is a game changer for SketchUp, really. It is called Enscape 3D and it is a real-time rendering plugin for SketchUp and it just has been released on a beta version and then in a couple of weeks the official version is coming out so let's just take a look at what it can do so I downloaded the free trial version of Enscape that you guys can find in their page and I downloaded a model from SketchUp and started playing around with Enscape well I work on two screens but for this tutorial I put both SketchUp and Enscape in the same window to, in the same window to see how it performed at a first glance, I mean, we can already be really amazed. Enscape lets you move in SketchUp in coordination with our plugin. So if you zoom in in the SketchUp view, it gets zoomed in in the Enscape view. You can also deactivate this so they can move, uh, you know, separately. But right now, this tool is really awesome, right? And you could also see that any changes you make to SketchUp instantly get updated in Enscape. If you move a chair in SketchUp, it gets moved in the real-time render, right? So this is it's crazy. So that's like the first glance, right? And when we open the Enscape settings, we can see a series of options for the customization of the viewport. So the first one I was like really, really amazed and I that I really want to use because, you know, I'm just, I think it can help you do diagrams, it can help you do a lot of stuff that is just not only renders but everything for your presentation board to present to client etc was white mode and polystyrol mode so white mode makes everything everything exactly everything in the model white except for anything that has glass or water so i was just amazed because i didn't really tell the program hey you know uh, override the glass and override the water i mean i i really just opened it and it looked like that. So then I was told by by the guys from Enscape that if the material has uh, the name water, the name glass, it, Enscape recognizes it and you know makes it optimal for each kind of view, if that makes sense. So that white mode and polystyrol mode, I was just really amazed. And I mean, if you want, you can put outlines to it, outlines to the white mode, the polystyrol mode, or the normal mode. So it would look like more of a sketchy drawing, you know, has a mixed feeling and there's also light view which is where you can see um, where there's more amount of light measured in like real LUTs so that is really cool and only well, that can help you you know make you makes a lot of sun studies and uh, there's depth of field in a really precise depth of field where that where you have the option to put you know the your focal point at five centimeters inches whatever you know okay so it had, it had exposure brightness field of view really awesome motion blur so if you move uh, very quickly through the model it's going to be motion blurred so it makes it look like more real and um, you know improving the, the the rendering quality some other options you see are you know contrast sharpening saturation color temperature and bloom which really makes it you know get the right tone and the right feeling and the right uh, emotion for the image right away. You don't even have to go to Photoshop. In atmosphere, you can change the clouds. I mean, you can change the amount of clouds if you want very dense clouds or if you don't want clouds at all. Then we can also see that we can we can add clouds, add the density of the clouds, variety of, cl variety of the clouds, the thickness, their serious amount longitude latitude how bright the sun is i mean this really has everything you can wish for in a real-time rendering machine from 2017 i mean really it is really high level and the images they produce are really really good I mean, the good thing is that you know you can manage you can modify the visualization settings so you can have denser clouds, a very foggy day, or a very sunny and clear day. You can also change the time of the day, and I don't know, make time lapses and everything. So, so another of the advantages of this program is that it can export. You can make 360 images with this program. So, and it's and it's really just easy, like really easy. Like, and you just click panorama, and it has two options. So you can render it. You know, you you, you can take out a panorama, like a normal panorama, which you can up upload on Facebook or any panoramic 
3D site or software, or you can also export it to make it available in VR mode in virtual reality. And that's the, the, another of the awesome, awesome things that this has. Like you guys can just really export your model and no one needs this program to see it in their computer. And if they have the, the Oculus Rift, the headsets for the virtual reality, you just open the program and you, you know you can navigate all around it I, I don't have virtual reality glasses the virtual reality headset um yet but when i do i'm going to show you guys i mean i've just seen videos and it, it looks really awesome you can export you know like the whole file the whole set file and if you send it to somebody or if you're you know in your student presentation you don't have to have the program installed you can just you know open it right there and then and navigate through all of your project i did this and i think you guys and you guys were watching it right now and you know i had everything closed and it navigated like very very well and i've heard i've heard that the, there is an endscape for revit and an endscape for sketchup so if you are a revit or a sketchup user you can you know and they have like the same features features i think i think the revit one is more advanced because it has been more time on the, on the market but this one is also has the majority of features and you can also load H HDRI images. So, um, so for example, if, uh, if you don't like the skies that are in Enscape, you can load HDRIs. It can give you a visualization, you know, of how it looks and you can change the rotation, everything, everything, everything. So I did this 30, 30 second video, which is really, really fast. And, but before I show it to you guys, I want to tell you something. So I started talking with the guys at Enscape and they told me, Hey, you know what? We should organize a competition to make images and videos off of Enscape. And with the winner, we are going to give them a free license. So I was like, dude, this is awesome. Right? Talked about it. And it really goes like this. So you download Enscape, right? For SketchUp, which you can find in the link in the description of this video you take out an image or a video right the best image you can possibly make the best image right and you take it out you make it in enscape the majority of it has to be done in enscape and you upload it to your facebook or to your twitter or to your instagram so no you so you're going to put it with the hashtag enscape 3d and hashtag show it better and you can put at show it better so i can you know see like oh this guy uploaded this right so this competition is going to be during two weeks right so two weeks from now we are going to announce the competition winner it is one winner one winner that has the best image done in endscape and you know after i see the, after you guys see the video i did i hope you guys can do something like that too because you know we all want to show it better right Remember, upload your images and we will give you guys a free license. I mean, no strings attached, just a free license for you to use. And it's going to be freaking awesome. So here is my surprise. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like this video, comment it and on what you thought of Enscape, what you thought of the video and if you're going to participate right so thank you for watching share like and remember to subscribe to watch more of these videos thank you guys see you guys later mm -hmm.